Uh, Chad, I kind of want to start with the Baylor women. Uh, coming off a pretty impressive uh, win on Sunday against uh, Iowa State. Iowa State was ranked, what, eighth, seventh? Seventh. Seventh. In fact, let me, before uh, you finish your question, um, and that might have been the question in and of itself, is how big of a win is it? But 21 years ago today, and we're recording this on Monday, the 24th, Kim Mulkey won her first game against the top 25 team. It was number seven, Iowa State. Okay. So yesterday, Nikki Collin wins her first game against the top 25 team, number seven, Iowa State. And that's a nice little symmetry there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I wrote about that in Texas Sports, my, my book, Texas Sports. It has something on every day of the year. So a little plug for that book. I have a copy right over here. I could probably. Yeah, I've got one down. It's under my desk here. Um, so you did allude to the question. Obviously, that was a much needed, uh, not just top 25 win, but a top 10 win for, for Nikki Collins team. How much mm -hmm. does that do for them as, as she kind of tries to, to, you know, stamp her mark on this program? Oh, I think it, you know, I think it's absolutely essential because, you know, you talk about blood in the water um, with games like at Kansas State and at Oklahoma that people think Baylor is weakened because Kim's not over there on the sideline and they get into the game with them and they decide that they can beat them and they really come after them. And they have that sort of um, sort of springboarding their momentum in a game. And, and you could see it in the Oklahoma game. Baylor got out to a lead. And then when Oklahoma started to make its move, it was like, I don't, I, it was on Fox, Bali Sports Southwest. And so I couldn't actually see it, but you just from the play by play, you got the feeling that Oklahoma sensed that they could come get Baylor. And that's what they did. Um, so, you know, then Baylor gets its legs back under it, wins at Kansas. By the way, barely, that was a crazy game. Um, and then beats up on Oklahoma State the other night. And Iowa State comes in ranked number seven. And I was talking to our friend Jerry Hill before the game. I was like, it's weird to be in here and feel like Baylor is the underdog in a game. But it didn't feel that way for very long because Baylor got out to a lead in the first quarter, even though Iowa State hit a couple of threes to tie it going into the second quarter. Baylor reasserted itself right at the beginning of the second quarter. And then, you know, I mean, they just made shots, honestly. It's like, I mean – any basketball team that plays any style, if you start making shots and get in, and get in a role, especially at home, especially in a big game at home, you're going to be tough to beat. And that's what happened with Baylor yesterday. And the most important thing for them, like as a program and as like their self identity in the, in the program is that they now know that they're a team that's capable of doing that to a really good team. Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny how that works in basketball. If you make baskets, uh, you tend to look like a little mm -hmm. bit better team.